That's Robbie Williams. That's from the era of music that brought us other great talents like Enrique Iglesias and others. That's Millennium. We're at 835. Time for a weekly chat with Mike Barrett from Barrett Insurance Agency. You'll find him on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury. Family owned forever and a day. Mike, good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah, forever and a day is true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, second yeah. second generation uh, for you and the wife now. Dad, uh, Mom and Dad had it earlier, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so definitely proud to be second generation husband wife ownership. And, you know, people go, how can you guys work together? And we're weird this way, I guess. We actually feel odd when we're not working together. If one of us has a day off or somebody has to go to a seminar or what have you. So it uh, works out really well. Works out really well. You know, I had that kind of relationship with Dawn when when uh, when she worked here. It's just it didn't matter. We just got work done, got home, and life was life. It was okay. So it was all good. All right. It's so all good. let's. Uh, well, you've got a couple of different things. Where do you want to start with our good policies this morning? You know, I, I thought you know we do talk a lot about home and auto for sure. Um, but I had a, a good thought starter uh, this week about auto insurance and some of the things that are, are good to know about. Um, for an auto insurance policy, and some of this is definitely rehashing things we have already talked about. Um, but with an auto policy, there are multiple ratings available uh, for a vehicle. Uh, so each vehicle gets rated its own way. And among the numerous things, of course, the the driver has an impact on the cost. The vehicle itself and the value and the coverage itself uh, would certainly impact coverage. But use of the vehicle, too. And use of the vehicle is pretty critical. Uh, not only does the use of the vehicle dictate the cost of the insurance for that vehicle, but use of the vehicle uh, is important to think about because that vehicle use can play a role as to whether a claim is going to be appropriately handled or not. What do I mean by that? Well, uh, with an auto insurance policy, you can, and it, this is the grand scheme. It does vary a little bit from company to company, but you can either rate it as a pleasure use vehicle. So let's say you're retired, you're not working, or if you are working, you work from home. So you're not driving the vehicle back and forth to work daily, five days a week. That's a pleasure use vehicle. So that's the rating that you would have, meaning you just run errands and use it for your own personal use. You're not driving it necessarily back and forth to work. Option two is you drive back and forth to work less than 15 miles. Actually, it's 15 miles or less. My apologies. So you're driving 15 miles or less one way to work. Not round trip, one way. That'll impact the cost too. What if you travel further for work? Well, once you're over 15 miles going one way to work, that's a different rate as well. Now let's go to farm. Some vehicles can be rated for farm use, meaning the vehicle primarily is used on the farm, doesn't really see a lot of road time. It may come to town on occasion for random things, but certainly not at any level of frequency. So that's why we would be able to rate it as a farm vehicle. But the one that led me to think about this conversation this morning, Jeff, was business use. Business use is important. You know, uh, even for someone like myself, I drive my vehicle not only back and forth to work one way, less than 15 miles, but I drive my vehicle for the purpose of my business or the place that I work, which means my vehicle has a business rating on it. Why is that? Well, you need the appropriate charge and the appropriate rating for what you're using the vehicle for. Um, and business rating is really going to be what most people will have if they're contractors. You know, so if you're a, if you're a contractor or an electrician or a plumbing and heating specialist, and let's say you have a vehicle that's less than 10,000 gross vehicle weight and has no lettering on it, well, you could most likely just have a business rating on a personal auto policy with that. But that also begs the question of should I consider – and even I could ask myself this with the way that I use my vehicle, should I consider having a, business, a commercial auto policy? A commercial auto policy would be rating specifically for my business use. Yes, I can still use it for my pleasure use and so on and so forth. Um, but it's going to allow me a couple things. It's going to allow me uh, to have higher limits of liability. You know, most auto insurance companies max out at a half a million dollars in liability in some way, shape, or form, whereas on a personal auto, or a, sorry, commercial auto, you could do a million or more. 
Um, so, you know, you may find yourself, especially contractors, going on to big commercial jobs. Uh, they may be required to provide certificates of insurance, proof of insurance, and they may find that their business auto rating with low liability is not sufficient enough for the job. So in that case, they may need to go to a commercial auto policy. Can I jump Is this in? all making a little bit of sense? Yeah, can I jump in here with something? You know, we have a, we have a lot of folks, Mike, that uh, the use of their vehicle has changed, uh, especially during the COVID pandemic. We have folks out there that are delivering meals. They're uh, going and picking up prescriptions and things like that. Are these the kind of things that would have to be added to a quote unquote business use? You know, these are these these potentially could be. You know, I will tell you that COVID has made a lot of things questionable. Uh, you know, a lot of things are gray now. So a lot of companies have kind of relaxed their rules on whether you can deliver food or 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 do certain things that are helping people through this pandemic. Companies have really relaxed that. But you know, I can give you examples of people who maybe drive their vehicle for work and were transporting clients uh, as part of that as well on a personal auto policy. I've seen instances where people almost were denied a claim because the vehicle wasn't appropriately rated for a business use. It was rated for maybe a pleasure or a commute vehicle where it was actually being used for business. So, you know, the, you don't want to, and I'm not saying companies do this intentionally, but the, remember that an auto policy indeed is a contract. And in that contract, they have things they have to uphold. You have things that you have to uphold. And the disclosure of proper use of their vehicle is certainly one of them. Um, so you want to make sure you're kind of keeping an eye on that. You know, and you're right, Jeff, through this whole, you know, uh, we've had a lot of life changes for people over the past couple of months. Something as simple as you used to travel 30 miles one way to work, and now you have been working remotely. Guess what? If you're working from home, now you've got a pleasure use vehicle. And if that's permanent, you should really consider making the change on your auto policy. If it's not permanent, well, maybe you could make the change temporarily as long as you remember when you start commuting back and forth to work again that you put it back because you could have realized a little bit of savings there. But commercial auto policies are really important to know about, really important to think about uh, in terms of the, the broad array of coverage that they do provide. There are people out there who don't have personal auto policies. They have just commercial auto policies, and that could be a whole other conversation someday um, of the many benefits and ways that you would want to do that. Um, but when it comes to using your vehicle for a business-type exposure, the worst time to find out how good your insurance is is if you have an accident and find out that because you did not disclose to the company that you were using your vehicle for business that they have a leg to stand on to deny any type of claim. Well, Eden, I was we mention this every time we come out of our conversations. The worst time to find out is when you need it. You know what I think we should right. do Key here? Times, is it okay if I just give one more quick thing? Yep. Key things to remember for commercial auto, okay? If a vehicle's over 10,000 gross vehicle weight, that usually means it's beyond the acceptability guidelines of most companies to be on a personal auto, so you'd want to go commercial auto. If you letter it up, it would be on a commercial auto, not a personal auto. If you uh, own it in the name of your business, like an entity, it would have to be commercial auto because you can't insure uh, a business entity on a personal auto policy. That's my last quick thought this morning, Jeff. Well, that's okay. What I was doing is I was thinking we could lead in here because uh – businesses out there. There are a lot of local businesses here that have small fleets, and maybe that's something we could talk about uh, in one of our future good policies. Indeed. Indeed. There are, are companies out there that have good fleet programs, certainly something we could talk about. Absolutely. All right. Tell them how to get in touch with you again, Mike. Yeah, you can give us a call, 748-5224. Visit us on Portland Street in St. John's. Furry office doors are still locked, but if you knock, we will wave. Uh, but we are doing appointments in the office as well. Um, you can also find us at our website, Free Home and Auto Quotes, at thebarrettagency.com, Google, Facebook, and YouTube. Just look for Barrett Insurance Agency. All right, Mike, enjoy the sunshine, and we'll chat next week. All right, yeah, put on the sunscreen. It's going to be a beauty. All right, always nice to have you here. Enjoy the day. Good policies with Magic in the Morning. Mike Barrett from Barrett Insurance Agency. Now the latest from Dayon. Magic 94.1.